Apple. Finally, I'd like to call upon Elizabeth Holliday, our valedictorian, to give her Not only financially, but also through the things we will experience. 
that we will accomplish, the friends we will make, and the lives we will influence. I don't think any teacher who has gone through a class with any of these grade 12s could argue that we could fail. From the first day of high school, we have been picked as the <coughs> class. But the promise and skill we possess in grade 8 can only take us so far. It is through the support of the enormously giving STA community that we have developed and accomplished all that we have. From being provincial champions, to putting on musicals, to traveling around the world. We have achieved so much thus far that our future is bright and deep. We must remember not to lose the bonds we forged to hold on to the connections we've made and allow them to buoy us through the coming years. We have to be able to let what we've learned about ourselves and our years here be our guide, and not to be afraid to let go of that which keeps us from our goals. These are the tools we need to succeed. These are the tools that our experience at STA was meant to teach us. But, most of all, grads of 2011, we owe it to the world to go out there and be absurdly fantastic. That's what we do best. I would love to finish with some original, inspirational words, but what can I say? I'm just a high school grad. So, I will leave you instead with words of advice from someone who's lived much longer and knows a lot more about the world. As Mark Twain has so aptly put it, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor. Catch the trade winds in your sails. Explore. Dream. Discover. Thank you.